All right, your time is 9.39. Lead poisoning is a big topic here in greater Cincinnati. The exposure affects millions of people nationwide. Aaron Grant is director for People Working Cooperatively's Home Whole Home Innovation Center. I got it. Um, Aaron, thanks for coming. So you're here to talk a little bit about what people can do here in the tri-state to reduce their risk of exposure. And what do we have? Like three out of four homes? What is the number that were built before the ban on lead? This so before before lead paint was banned for residential yes. use in 1978, about three out of four homes yeah. in just in Hamilton County. So tens of thousands of residents. Yeah, 75 percent of us have this issue. Where do you think we are now with the abatement, with homes making the change necessary? So we've we've made a lot of progress over the past uh, 20, 30 years in reducing reducing childhood lead poisoning, um, but there's still a lot a long ways to go. There are still hundreds of children that test with elevated blood lead levels every year just in the Hamilton County, Cincinnati area. So we know that kids are still getting exposed primarily through deteriorated lead paint in their home and sometimes through lead and water. So if, if someone has a home, you know, how, how do I get this checked? What's it going to cost me? How much, you know, what, what is the process? So th it's a good question. I, it's really important for anybody that lives in an old home built before 1978 to have the home tested or at least um, know where your risks might be. Typically, we're looking for things that aren't just what you would consider obvious, things like paint chips or visible debris. We're talking about invisible levels of dust that can accumulate and, yes. and poison a child. One of the examples we like to use is that if you took a sugar packet, just a one gram sugar packet, spread that over the entire Paul Brown Stadium field, any one square foot within that within that area would still be enough to be considered hazardous. Wow. So it's not what you one can see. One sugar packet spread that thin over the whole field and we've got a problem. That's right. So invisible amounts of dust. So it's not just paint chips you can see. It's things typically where you've got building components rubbing against each other like a window sash or a door opening and closing can generate that kind of dust from the normal wear and tear of a home. What happens to kids when they're exposed to lead? Lead's pretty nasty stuff. It's a very potent neurotoxin. It can lead to learning disabilities. It can lead to difficulty in the blood forming system. Um, it's, it's a really terrible thing. Fortunately, it's preventable. You know, yeah. We know where to find it. We know what to do to treat it. Um, and there's things that everybody can do to reduce their risk. All right, so let's talk about, I want, I'd like to put the information on the screen. There's a phone number people can call to get more information about how to get the home tested or the school tested. We have some old schools here as well. We sure do. Um, I think most lead poisoning happens in the homes where kids live. But the good news is that there are programs here in Southwest Ohio and Hamilton County and um, through the State Department of Health that can help, especially low to moderate income families that wouldn't otherwise be able to afford to search for lead to do the testing yes. or to treat what they find when they do an assessment. What's the number to call? 513-366-4697. And our intake specialist can help um, route people to the resources that might be the best fit for them. I thought we were going to have that on the screen, and I, I don't see it, so say the number again. Sure. 513-366-4697. Okay, and people can go to People Working Cooperatively's website for this information as well. That's right. Aaron, thank you for the good work that you do, giving so much. People Working Cooperatively celebrating 50 years next year. Yeah. How about it? Congratulations thank on you. that. Thank you. All right, Burger Week is still going strong here in Cincinnati. We will have a local restaurant, and wait till you see these burgers uh, here ready for us to talk about how they're celebrating right after the